types of alopecia in men and women. What type of alopecia do I have? Before starting, I want to remind that if you have any kind of query or doubt about the hair, you can leave it in the comments and we will solve everything in a future video. And today we are going to talk about the different types of alopecia that exist throughout the world. Badness term whose meaning implies hair loss but the most correct way to name this disease is alopecia although it is true that it usually affects a greater number of men than women it is a disease that affects both genders causing serious changes in the self-esteem and insecurity of the person to be able to say that we suffer from alopecia the hair loss that we suffer must be greater than 100 hairs a day when the hair loss exceeds 100 hairs a day we can already speak of alopecia since each one of us lose between 50 and 90 hairs a day. This loss not only affects the head as we already know, but it has also been shown that it can affect other areas such as eyebrows, armpits, beards and genitals. Alopecia does not have the only cause for which it can occur for various reasons which means that there are multiple types despite the fact that there are many different types of alopecia. The most common and known today are six which are androgenetic alopecia, alopecia areata, alopecia before diffuse alopecia, scarring alopecia and universal alopecia. Before continuing I want to remind that you can support the channel by leaving your like subscribing or share the video on different social networks you can also go to the comments box that you think the video and now we are going to continue seeing the different types of alopecia that exist androgenetic alopecia also called common badness is the most frequent this type of badness usually occurs after the age of 50 to a greater or lesser extent in around 50 percent of men and at in the case of women 10 percent suffer from it the origin is mainly genetic although it can also be hormonal in terms of androgenetic alopecia it is true that we do not know much about its behavior at the genetic level but we do know about its behavior at the hormonal level and what it does is atrophy the hair follicles to a point that leads them to disappear alopecia areata is the second most common type of alopecia it is a type of hair loss hair it originates partially in the form of patches although it can extend to the entire skin scalp or even the rest of the body it is normal for the type of alopecia to disappear and the hair to grow again and these patches may reappear in a future relapse alopecia areata is a disease that apart from being related to genetic issues is also related to autoimmune diseases such as diabetes salic disease or erythritis fibrous alopecia better known as frontal alopecia usually affects a greater number of women than men this type of alopecia raises many unknowns and its causes are still quite unknown. What it known is which may be related to menopause, the lump, that is to say the suede affects above all the frontal area of the hair. Causing it to recede more and more diffuse alopecia is a type of reversible hair loss. The hair is lost in a generalized and progressive way and it affects both men and women. Being able to reach total badness, it can be more or less intense but it corresponds to a portion of the scalp where the hair disappears. The process followed by diffuse alopecia is very similar to that followed by androgenetic alopecia that is the hair increasingly degenerates becoming more and more straight until it disappears and falls does not grow again. Scaring alopecia as its own name indicates belongs to that type of hair loss or disappearance caused by a scar in this case due to the bound has produced a destruction of the hair follicles that prevents the new appearance of hair in the area. This type of alopecia occurs mainly due to diseases such as trauma or lupus, fungi, wounds, bacteria, trauma, etc. Universal alopecia produces badness due to an autoimmune disease that attacks the hair follicles preventing hair from being generated in this type of alopecia. The patient's antibodies attack the hair follicles eliminating it completely. It is important to clarify that universal alopecia is a type of alopecia areata 
it simply differs in that it is much more aggressive than the previous one. We recommend that if you think you are suffering from some types of alopecia or see signs of something similar, go to your doctor or a specialist as quickly as possible, since he will know how to make the appropriate diagnosis to help you and solve your problems and even here I would leave today's video so evident that you can support the channel, leave us your like by subscribing or sharing the video on different social networks. In addition to that, you can use the comment box to tell us what you think of the video or upcoming topics that you would be interested in seeing in the near future videos and it is that in addition to that below in the information box in the description i leave you two very important bodies of information the first is the official blog of mike apple in which you will find any information you need to know about the world of hair and the second is that if you are going through some kind of process of hair evolution and you want to show your photos on the channel you can do it through the mail or at mycapple.com and so in a future video we will use the different cases that you have sent us i say goodbye here and see you in the next video greetings